fitting allowance is the amount of space taken up by the fitting that is not pipe. Our goal in the end is to have a cut of pipe that is going to enable us to install our piping system exactly where or in the dimensions of what we want. So we're trying to get a cut. But if let's say I have a 24 inch center to center on a pipe and I just cut a 24 inch and put my fittings on it, those fittings are gonna push that out because they take up space. And it's not going to be 24 inches center to center, it's gonna be 24 plus a couple of fittings. It's that space taken up by the fitting, which is called the fitting allowance, that we have to subtract. So if I'm running a pipe along, I may measure over to a wall that's parallel because that's a consistent distance, I can follow that and make sure like all of my hangers line up. But then if it has to offset or move, then I'm gonna measure over and add or subtract and change the distance. If you're measuring within the space itself to figure out where the pipes go, you measure to something that's consistent. Like you can look on a plan and lay it out that way. Most of the time when we're installing though, we're actually measuring from things that are around us. That may be to a wall or to the floor or to whatever else we can measure from. So once we understand where we're gonna run this and the distances that we need, then we get to step two and we figure out our center to center. That's in my example, if we have 24 inches, that's my center to center from one fitting to the next if it's coming over. I have to know what my center to center measurements are. And then step three is to subtract off fitting allowances for both fittings connecting to the pipe so that I can get that pipe exactly the way it needs to be. That's an end to end measurement. When the fitting allowances have been subtracted off, that's what we're trying to get. And then I can go and cut my end to end measurement on my pipe. Once I put the fittings on, it should line up exactly how I want. That's the whole point of this. Now there is an alternative to all of this math, to all of this, you know, figuring out your center to center and subtracting off for fitting allowances. You can just kind of eyeball it. We call it eyeballing, where you just hold the fitting out there and you kind of get your tape and you hold it up in place and you're like, okay, yeah, that looks about right. And then you go and make your cut. Now what's the risk of eyeballing? Well, if you're eyeballing it and you didn't hold the fitting in the right spot or the right distance and you go make your cut and then you put it together, it doesn't always line up the way you hope. You might not hit your centers. Occasionally eyeballing is okay. Occasionally just estimating or holding fittings out works. If you're doing a rough and it doesn't matter exactly where the pipes end up, maybe you're on an underground. Yeah, you can do a little bit of that and it's a good skill to have. But when you need precision, you have to be able to do the math. And that means get your center to center and subtract the fitting. Take a look at this picture. Mechanical space like this, you're not gonna get this precision. And in my opinion, this sort of beauty, this is real expert installation. You don't get that if you can't subtract for fittings and cut your pipes to the right length. Again, if you're not being exact, if you're eyeballing and things aren't accurate, you, you end up with waste. Meaning like you might cut that pipe and now, now it's too short. Oops, I'll just throw that on the scrap pile. We can't be wasting pipe like that. The whole point of this fitting allowance and deducting for those fitting allowances is so that we can be precise. We can be accurate in our cuts and be able to install with minimal waste, provide a professional installation, an excellent look. And those are some skills that you need as a plumber.